Listen, we want to uh, take you somewhere and show you this place that hardly any of us ever go uh, because that, uh, it, I mean, it remains one of the most unspoiled places on earth, which is good. Well, mostly unspoiled, but not totally. Yes, you see, even the Kermitic Islands aren't immune from the spread of modern life and the trash that comes with it. Here's Jill Higgins. Halfway between New Zealand and Tonga, the Kermadex lie nestled in the past. One of the few places in the world where uh, fishing boats haven't come and exploited. So remote, more people have stood on top of Mount Everest than set foot on these shores. But there are some lucky exceptions. And I'm one of them. This special place on land and underwater caught the attention of this special young explorer. Hi, I'm Riley Hathaway and I've come here with my dad to film some stories about how incredible the underwater world is here at the Kermadex, as it is known as one of the most pristine marine environments in the world. All the pests have been removed from the island, so there's no more rats or cats or goats, so it's now left up to nature. This is awesome. Those birds are beautiful. They might be happy to say hello. But further along the beach, a shadow was cast on Riley's trip. Signs of a new threat that's getting out of control. This is wrong. This is disgusting. Look at this. Yuck. Sadly, it's nothing new to the dock rangers here. It's yeah. endless. The funniest one we've seen is a store brought packet of seaweed that washed up on the beach. <laughs> Still usable. We ate it. <laughs> In less than a minute, this is what we've got. And Riley knew exactly where she wanted to take it. Back to New Zealand, to marine biologist Dan Goddard. So is he a bit of a hero? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Dan is an expert on turtles, and more and more are falling prey to plastic. It's a major killer, and New Zealand isn't without blame. I thought he'd be interested in what we found halfway to Tonga. Interested and a little bit surprised. Holy heck. One section of the beach. At the souvenirs Riley brought back. That's off a car. You see, that's quite sharp. And that'll cause quite a nasty injury. See this? Mm -hmm. This has been eaten by fish. Oh, my goodness. I'm guessing that wouldn't be very good for them. Oh, absolutely not. No. So it's a death sentence, really. One Dan seen all too often. A big proportion of the turtles that I necropsy, the ones that end up stranded, have got some form of plastic in them and eventually they, they slowly die. It's a terrible um, result. It's a direct result of what we throw away. A quick sort, and jandals feature big time. There's a collection of random household stuff, and, of course, plastic bottles. Something Riley thinks we should do without. Try not to buy plastic drink bottles. Just get one that you use over and over. Riley wants her spoils to be a wake-up call. Only once we stop polluting can the Kermadex return to their pristine condition. The Kermadex is supposed to be a beautiful example of what a natural environment without human impact is supposed to look like. But yet, you see this. So where are they saying all that's coming from? Is that coming from people on fishing boats and cruise oh, ships and throwing it, it over the shore and it floats with the sea well, and the tide and the... Or just it comes from land, doesn't it? Out I of guess... sight, out of mind. That's what that's about, isn't it? So well, you throw it out, you don't think about it. And a plastic bottle's not going to break up anytime soon, so no. I guess it goes and it comes out somewhere, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. And some of it comes out in the Kermadex.